Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, this is pretty much a different video for you guys. So pretty much, I'm gonna be showing you guys the funds of, and pretty much like the process, the planning of what I'm gonna be going through, hopefully, uh, to earn for this film. And this is like a, a little timeline. Hopefully you guys can hear me well, but uh, yeah, this is like a timeline that I've been setting up. And this is like a repetitive thing that I've been going through, just setting up uh, on what might happen in the future of uh, earning like the funds and uh, setting up the crew and all that. But at the same time, uh, back then I didn't really just like included the crew like that like I didn't really envision myself to be working with like workers like that but yeah now nowadays uh, my YouTube like as you can tell it's not doing so well I have to admit that because uh yeah I've been doing this for like years now like uh yeah ever since 2017 but I mean I, I uploaded like the freaking fish tank video five years ago so it's a bit, yeah, I used to make different videos back then, like, not even Star Wars related, but anyways. So pretty much, yeah, this is going to be the process, the planning of what I'm going to be doing, hopefully by this year, pretty much earning the money and all that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get to that in just a sec about the money and what I'm going to be spending. And it's, uh, you'd be surprised. But uh, yeah, so pretty much I'm going to begin by earning the money, the funds. Uh, and currently I've been, yeah, I'll just go through what I'm going to uh, do the timeline instead of just going through like that by each step. But uh, yeah, so earn the money, shoot behind the scenes because I, I do want to include like behind the scenes documentary <clears throat> of uh, just like what I'm going through um, and hire someone. Um, so that way they could just like come by easily and just shoot the stuff. Uh, arrange voice actors. So for voice actors, yeah, I, I, uh, I was going to say that for like the workers, for animators specifically, they're supposed to be held accountable when they're working because it is a ton of work for animation. And so just that process of me being there, um, guiding them in person, I think that would be the best move instead of having them be like in international and uh, having me to just message them like that. Uh, you, you just never know, like you just get scammed easily if you like send them money or something like beforehand. I think it, I don't think they'd be really uh, be down to do it like afterhand if you know what I mean, like just uh, sending them the money after they get the work done. But yeah. So yeah, range voice actors. Uh, it's not really much of a big deal. I could just f find voice actors on Fiverr, you know. So draw animation shots. Well, really quick. Yeah, like for main characters like Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, that might be um, a bit of a challenge. For example, maybe Princess Leia. I haven't really f found... Well, I did, but like uh, I did find a voice actor that voices Leia, but she just... Uh, I think she's like busy with school nowadays, so I don't really want to bother, you know? And like back then, it was like during high school when I uh, wanted her to voice as Leia. But yeah, nowadays she's uh, that uh, friend of mine. She, she has things to do for school. And I don't even have her in context, which kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, draw animation shots. I'm going to have to redo the the animation shots uh, just make it better you know because like right now i have like a comic scenery of like uh, different shots of what the pretty much the film is gonna look like and it's pretty wacky because it was so rushed back then it was like probably what 2019 uh when i did it and i only spent like about a week doing it and i also added like um like speech bubbles so that way I don't have to write, like, the uh, the voice lines. But yeah, after that, I had to, like, write the voice lines on, on like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Google Docs. So that way I could set up the script. And dang, I did it all in within a day. And it, it was pretty 
it was not a pleasant feeling, I'll tell you that. It was just uh, just me constantly working day and night and not enough sleep, you know. It was just so awful. I was probably, what, like 18? Yeah, it was so bad. Uh, I hated it. But, uh, yeah, nowadays I'm doing better. But uh, prepare choreography. Yeah, that is going to be pretty fun, actually. Because pretty much I, I'm just going to be taking, like, sport lessons, probably martial arts, kendo. So that's going to be very fun, like, just learning that experience, specifically Kendo too, because I, um, I don't think I should really reveal what type of martial art I do. Yeah, I think it's best not to, but yeah, I, I want to do Kendo and also reveal, like, throughout the uh, behind the scenes of how I'm going to be doing the Kendo moves and all that, um, like, pretty much the Jedi moves, like, uh, yeah, I forgot what the the names of the Jedi moves are called, but there's, like, uh, different levels of, like, for example, Luke Skywalker has a specific one, Anakin has a specific one, Mace Windu has, like, a very advanced level type of choreography movements, techniques, I guess you could say, but yeah, then I have to prepare animators, so that's gonna probably include, like, five, I'm really trying to keep it on the low with animators i don't want to have like a big group of animators i will get things done for faster but it's just going to be all over the place at the same time and also the budget is going to be higher if i if i get more than five but yeah then after that begin animation specifically for characters i, for, I don't know i forgot why why i put that for characters but yeah excuse the handwriting I started using text right after that. <laughs> I literally found out right after that you could just use the text tool. But yeah, then prepare VFX. So that's going to be a different team. Uh, the animators might actually um, know how to do VFX. So that, that might be pretty good. So add effects. Prepare sound and music. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't really have to get the sound engineer or music come over just so I could uh, see what he's up to because he I pretty much already know my my guy that does like the music he's pretty nice I really love his music you could actually just uh, listen to it from I was gonna say my first film but that was a total different artist that he did that music and uh, it was just charging me a lot for for music and sound at the same time because he was doing both but uh yeah i just uh didn't really have the funds for that type and then i found some other guy that does the music which for part two he he already made that music for years ago and uh, i haven't really revealed it to you guys yet but i don't know hopefully this year or something after i get like um, the funds and the, the voice actors you know like for the film because i really want to uh pretty much get all voice actors to record their lines and just from there i don't have to worry about really getting stuff done with the voice actors you know i think that'd be a smart move because uh i did have like a problem last year with this one guy about um voicing it was just a disagreement, and, like, he took it too far, and, uh, he just didn't like, uh, my take on things, and I guess, uh, I pretty much knew it was gonna happen anyway, so, so I'll just have to replace him, but, yeah, I don't wanna say who, or, like, which character, but it'll probably be, uh, noticeable, but, yeah, so that makes sound and music, which is pretty much the same thing, and Fiend, the end, so that'd be pretty much the steps. Uh, what's gonna me lead me to finishing the two hour film probably two hours two or two and a half two hours and 30 minutes i mean but yeah what's gonna create the funds is pretty much these three things i ha i have no other ideas on what i could uh really sell or or stuff like that because currently like i said my star wars channel isn't doing that well it's not even at 1k to uh be able to be part of the youtube part partner program uh, and also i think i have to have like 40,000 watch hours i think it was or 20,000 something like that i forgot um but yeah it's uh i'm just surprised that not even this animation that took me like two years 
it's not doing so well. I thought it was gonna do better, to be honest, but nope. And I can't really imagine what part two might make. Probably if I label label it as a blender animation, that'll do good. Pretty much like how uh, this one did, you know, blender animation. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it, to be honest. Just putting out the second part because uh, I really want to release all of the animations throughout like one year perhaps and like also a trailer you to go with it bring in the hype because i still i still need the third trailer and i really want the third trailer to really knock it out of the park because i feel like the second one was just felt like a tease like a teaser trailer but uh anyways yeah and then i'm gonna have to do like reshoots like this one too like that shot right there or I could just, uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, so uh, an aquarium hobby. I'm currently like selling stuff on, on eBay from the aquarium. And I don't really want to reveal it yet, like what I'm selling and uh, what eBay, um, what do you call it, like account I go for. So I'm not really ready for that. YouTube, just in case, you know. And then selling Star Wars products. So I'm going to be selling Star Wars products in the future. Not right now, though, because I, I really need to earn the funds for that specifically, so that way I could uh, make a profit. But uh, also, speaking about profits, I can't really make a profit out of, out of this film. But it is good for marketing, like my channel, so that's a good thing at the same time. But yeah, you can't profit it because it's against uh, Lucasfilm uh, guidelines, you know. Yeah, Star Wars Stereo also talked about it. That guy. Such a cool dude. But, uh, yeah, it's time to reveal how much I'm going to be spending. Let's see. I'm trying to not show the total, but, yeah, let's start with this. Thousands. Oh, not good. So the budget of the music, 20k. And this is for a two-hour two uh, movie, you know? It's a shit ton of money. Damn. If I if I earn this money by this year, I'll consider myself as the smartest guy to earning those funds. I swear I will, because dang, and I'm not I'm not gonna be asking for you guys. You know, I'm actually gonna work myself from the ground up to earn this money to earn the funds. But yeah, that, this is just a portion of what I need to earn for. This is uh, another portion right here, but. Yeah, let me just uh, go through with it um, with you guys. Yeah, the music, 20k sound, 20k, five animators. And this isn't each, but this is um, in total of what I'm going to be spending, splitting it and spending from the animators. And this is also a rough estimate, you know. It could probably be more or less from each one of uh, from this category. There's going to be character designers, voice actors... The voice actor should be easy to deal with. Um, environment designers. Damn, this is gonna be fun. Um, I'm thinking of hiring like my uh, one of my family members, or probably like some of my family members that could do these type of stuff. Um, also, if they're, I mean, I know some of them are interested, so I could probably like show them and teach them, train them, because they're pretty good. Not gonna lie. Um, I don't really want to reveal like uh, which type of family member, but yeah. Five VFX artists, 15k. I feel like it might be more, but yeah, usually music it should be more. Because I really want the music to uh, be like John Williams. The sound, 20k. So that's that. But yeah, the budget of behind the scenes. I'm not trying to show the... Yeah, this part is... The bottom part is the total, but yeah, the camera guy, 15k, editor, 15k, I, I still don't, oh yeah, maybe I should talk, say this really quick, but uh, the animators, I might actually cross it out, because you know how AI is new to the game, and um, I might have to be the only animator to just do the movement of the characters with the AI roto, uh, what, no, not roto, uh, what's it called? Um, Mocap. No. Freak. Let me check. No. I, I should already know this. Using like a mocap suit for... Um, I forgot. But yeah, pretty much... Pretty much... Uh, I wouldn't really have to really 
anime. Well, I would, but but um, it wouldn't be too tough because I would be using a, a mocap suit. But I, there's a, a name for it, but I forgot. Crazy how I forgot. Uh, yep, I forgot. Crazy. Uh, yeah. So I might have to check uh, check that off, and it it would be pretty smart if I could uh, really tr uh, get that figured out of just doing like the animation by myself in a very fast process, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm also including them because it could it it would easily be or make my job easier, you know. But at the same time, you really have to uh, get these guys accountable because. Uh, you, have, you want them to do an exact job and pretty much uh, do the same techniques of how you animate, right? The lead, the lead animator like myself. So I would uh, really have to teach them a lot just to get it all right. And um, I don't know, it, it might take like a month. So that's why that's just a rough estimate. And also for like VFX artists too. And that... That's why I want to like hire talent ones, uh, talented ones like the um, ones that uh, already have like a degree or something because they're just gonna charge a lot and it's not gonna be fun to uh, really work with them with with a higher up type of wage, you know. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> camera guy, the camera guy is literally gonna be spending a lot of time with me just shooting this stuff. There's probably gonna be two. Um, and I want them to be good quality, so I'm probably going to have to buy a camera separate, very 4K quality camera or something. And then an editor. Uh, I might have to do the editing myself because it's going to be a lot of um, video. Oh, shoot. Oh, whatever. Yeah, this is a total. Um, yeah, I'm not that rich, but um, I swear if I, if I earn the money from the ground up, Within a year, definitely be considered myself smart. Within a year, I swear. Right now, I don't, like I said before, if you open through my savings, like a chamber of my savings, you're just going to see a feather just slowly dropping, you know? That's how much I have right now. Nothing. Starting with zero, and from zero to one, 127,000. That'd be impressive, not going to lie. But uh, yeah, um, I have two job interviews. I recently, just yesterday, I got a job interview done. And um, the goal for right now is to acquire two jobs and work for them full time for like two jobs and earn pretty good money out of that. Because I currently cannot really save right now for this specifically for like the film. But I have to earn up for myself and... Um, yeah, so I might have to, I'm pretty much earning myself a lot of money. Pretty much this, uh, I'm going to have to, how do I say this? Pretty much I'm going to be saving up for myself and pretty much the same thing because um, I'm going to be spending a lot on myself for, for like moving out, a car. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for right now at least, like food, you know, that, that comes with food and um yeah, that's how much I would want in my bank account before, like, spending it on, on the film. So, it's like a, du a duplicate of that. Do I have anything else to say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the sad thing the sad thing about it, at least for me, I'm not going to have enough time to work out anymore. I used, uh, Recently, I've been working out a ton. And, like, um, the bar is, like, 45 pounds. Uh, this is 45, the weight right here. 45, 25, 10, and I currently, uh, I could nail it down by this week at just adding another 45 right here and just removing these two weights right here, and, uh, I, I'd be pretty strong if I accomplished that by this year, or by this week, I mean, but yeah, now that if I start working again soon, it's going to pretty much downgrade me from weight training. Um, so it's not going to be too good. That's why I really want this freedom of uh, not having to worry about working, you know. And just spending most of my time at the gym. Because right, uh, yeah, right 
this year I've been working out like four hours for like like uh, four days in a week sometimes three sometimes just one because I have uh, I, I've just been applying a lot throughout many jobs but yeah guys what do you guys think of the of the budget of the film it might be more you know because I also want since I'm gonna have to um, hold these guys accountable or, or the animators and the VFX I might have to buy like a warehouse or something not even a warehouse just like a room you know and pretty much be uh like the director from godzilla minus one just directing these guys the vfx art um yeah the vfx artists and just with a low budget you know damn i i really love that movie though and i saw a little bit of behind the scenes but i really want to see more of it because it's it's pretty cool just uh how they did it um, let me see, do I have anything else to say? Yeah, um, I think, uh, yeah, I, I just can't do it anymore on my own. And, uh, hopefully I could earn the funds by this year and get this over with by next year. Or maybe, like, in the next couple years. So, all I will be doing for now is just talking about my film and the planning and um, take you through the process and not really, I think I'll, I'll take a pause for um, like at least putting out part two for now because there might, there's going to be a, some changes from like the voices, um, voice acting and I just don't want to really make it official with the voice acting and then having to change it for the part three and then you'll just notice that there's been changes with the voice acting but yeah this is official for part one but when you when you see uh like the whole film in one video including part one part one will be looking a bit different 4k quality and also like the lighting too because it there's like a lot of parts of this film where the lighting is bad and there's just gonna be course corrections and it will just look nicer it'll blend in with like the CGI animation because most of this part one film was uh, made in stop motion which is pretty cool but yeah guys damn I can't wait to what the future brings me I've been planning this every day uh, yeah I just always have Star Wars animation the star wars movie in my head just like what ideas i could add into the movie because uh it's just a never-ending thing at least um ever since high school i just never stopped thinking about it but yeah guys what do you guys think uh let me know down in the comments below um yeah i think that that'll be it for this is a, almost a 30 minute video but yeah see you guys <laughs>